straighten my hair and it's a Sunday and I always figured that going live not on the weekend would be better for you guys because that way I'm not like interrupting you guys during school or studying or something um so yeah I'm going live now <laughs> this is my natural hair which I guess you guys haven't seen um but this is actually a little bit more out there than it usually is because I put my hair up in a bun when it was wet um so she's very large and in charge right now which I really like like I love it when my hair does this um that I was about to say that being said but I'm not going to um we have a very specific look that we're doing tomorrow um at work for a legacies and so to like cut the time that it takes in the trailer I'm gonna start the process now by straightening my hair okay <laughs> Hey. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, why is it not scrolling automatically for itself? Somebody says, I love your hair. Thanks. Thank you. Somebody says, it's beautiful. Go straighten it. Thank you. Um, I need to. <laughs> um, yeah, if it was up to me, I wouldn't straighten it. But um, for the specific look on set that we're doing tomorrow that we've already like established, a couple days ago for one of the scenes. I need to straighten it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just part it. How are you guys doing? What are you guys doing on this, this Sunday? I just woke up recently. It's like noon. <laughs> it's the thing with working on this show is we do a lot of night shoots and so my body just cannot reset itself um and so i'm constantly like either waking up if i didn't oh that's gonna be a freaking screenshot oh no okay wait i'm either waking up really early or really late and there's just kind of no in between <laughs> so today is one of those late days um, I'm literally on my second cup of coffee, and I haven't had breakfast yet, and it's noon. But hey, it's all good. People are leaving. Brazil. Boop boop. Somebody says you need to give us your skincare routine. OMG. I did, actually. It's probably on YouTube now, but I did a live where I kind of went through my skincare routine. Um, I'm wearing makeup right now, just so everybody knows, like, this is, there's a little bit of things going on my face right now, so this isn't just, like, bare face Kaylee, like, coming to you live, <laughs> like, I feel like that's important to put out there, because so many people will be like, oh my god, like, your eyebrows are, like, so on fleek, you're like, wow, your skin is amazing, when, like, reality is, is, like, I definitely put an eyebrow pencil in my eyebrow this morning, and I definitely have foundation on. <laughs> So, I don't want anybody to get like an over romanticized idea of like what I look like or have like an unrealistic standard of what they should look like when it's like we all just put on makeup and have our own things going for them. Somebody says, wait, aren't you that girl from that Legacy series? Yeah. <laughs> that actually depends which girl. There's three of us. Well, there's a lot of us. And so I haven't straightened my hair in so long and it's so weird to see it. It used to be like, my hair actually used to be stick straight. Like growing up, my hair was really, really straight. And then, I don't know what happened. I turned like, I wanna say like 11 or 12. And my hair started getting like wavy. And now my hair is kind of curly but I like it a lot and I kind of like try to get it as curly as possible just because I think it's prettier for me just on my face shape um and so I don't see my hair this straight it just reminds me of being like eight years old and my hair was like down to here and like stick straight so hello 
Hello. Somebody says, in all caps, OMG, it's Josie. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am not used to doing this. I have to ask you guys, like, what do you guys prefer doing for your hair? Like, do you prefer leaving it natural, or do you curl it every day, or do you straighten it every day? Because I feel like so many people have, like, so, like, such a set opinion on their hair. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of feel weird and, like, when I have straight hair. <laughs> but so many people, like, won't leave the house unless they've, like, blow-dried their hair straight. But it's just, like, different face shapes, I guess. What episode am I on now? It's a really difficult question because basically what happened was we had we were initially only supposed to be shooting 13 episodes of Legacies and then um, we got our ratings back and like the fans you guys were watching it and everybody really liked it so the network was like oh cool we'll give you guys an extra three episodes um, that being said oh no stop saying that being said Katie stop it um, we, um, we didn't just put the extra episodes on the back end, like, it's not like we shot the 13 episodes that we had laid out and then put three at the end, like you normally would, it's that we are actually now going back, and we initially went, you know, like, seven, eight, nine, but now for the extra three episodes, we're taking two of those extra episodes and filming them to go in between eight and nine. So we're technically right now filming 8B, which is technically episode 10, I think is what the technical name is going to be when it comes out. But I don't know. I'm just very confused. I'm just trying not to think about it and learning my lines. <laughs> but I think you guys are really going to like this episode. It's so much fun and it's really different. Um, and so... It'll be just interesting to see how you guys react to it because we all kind of have a different thing going this episode and I'm excited for you guys to react to it and like see it. Let's see. Do I have a crush on Arya Shagasemi? I have a crush on all my castmates. They're all beautiful. It hurts me. Hi from Portugal. from Georgia. <laughs> Am I taking too long to straighten my hair? Is this like too much? I don't know. I don't straighten my hair very often. So I don't know if this is overkill or not. <laughs> but I figure what will happen is it's going to curl up before tomorrow, in which case, should I just be waiting until tomorrow to straighten my hair before I go to work? Then I'd have to wake up earlier. See, this is just, it's never ending. What language would I like to learn? All of them. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Um, I was doing really well with Japanese until I came up here and now I feel like I've lost a lot of my vocabulary. Um, I was studying, before I came up here, I was studying Japanese, Chinese, Chinese Mandarin, and Korean. That, I was like, that being said, <laughs> um, I haven't really been able to really commit to my studies the way that I did before I came out here just because we've been filming um, and so I think that I've just gotten really really bad at languages but if I could learn any languages at the moment it would be those three I'm actually supposed to meet with my Japanese tutor today I've been putting it off for like a month now because I'm scared she's gonna be like you've forgotten everything Did I use heat protectant? No. <laughs> no! <laughs> I know I have it somewhere. You know what, it's fine to do it once without heat protectant, right? If I lose my hair, I lose my hair. 
fell out. It's fine. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do I have trouble pronouncing the spells? No, but the only reason why I don't have trouble pronouncing the spells is because they literally don't tell you how to pronounce it. And it's become Danielle and I's like favorite thing is to make it sound like as fancy as possible. And they always tell us to like tone it down. <laughs> because like, I think it's episode, episode three, where we kill the gargoyle. And the spell is, um, well, it turned out to be Fluctus Impulsa. And <laughs> we came in being like Fluctus Impulsa. And they were like, you need to stop. It's just Fluctus Impulsa. And we're like, oh. But it sounds more exciting when it's Fluctus Impulsa. <laughs> Why is that doing that? I don't know how to fix that. Maybe if I had heat protector. Somebody says WTF, Lizzie and Raphael. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know the show is just all about twists and turns. Just wait for episode six. <laughs> Am I just burning my hair off because I'm not using heat protector? Oh well. <laughs> Say hi Brazil, please. Hi Brazil. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I feel like I'm not talking as much as I usually do just because I'm focusing on not burning my hair off. <laughs> ah! Wait, don't you guys have midterms coming up for those of you guys in high school? Or was that last week? Did I miss that? Did I miss the boat? Are you guys studying for midterms? Anyone? Midterm? How will... Jo oh my god, there's like a thing blocking it. How will Josie rap when she finds out about Raphael and Lizzie? I'll have to watch the next episode to find out. I think she reacts appropriately. <laughs> um, smiley faces. I feel like Josie is really level-headed sometimes, and other times, like, the whole, like, I had a really hard time doing the scene where... Josie votes Landon out. Like a really hard time doing that scene. Just because, in my opinion, oh my god, what is going on in my eye? In my opinion, Landon should stay. Like, as Kaylee. It really doesn't logically make sense that he wouldn't be able to stay. He knows what's going on. And he can't unsee what's happened to him. We know that he's special in some way, and it's the knife that's making things dangerous, not Landon. We've established that. So why would Josie freaking vote him out? So that being said, I had to go through this, oh no, that being said, that being said, um, I had to go through this whole process <laughs> of being like, okay, she, was going to vote Landon in and then Hope had her speech about not knowing if you can protect what you love, protecting him or protecting your family and that's when the connection is made and it's like a snap judgment that just comes out. I don't know, but that was really hard for me to do. <laughs> it was also the fact that I was like, oh yeah, I started out being like, it makes sense that she would just want to protect her family. And then Arya and Peyton sat me down and they were like, here's why it does not make sense and why it is so messed up. And then I had this moment of like, this is so true. And then I was genuinely angry at both of them for a hot second because I was like, you've ruined my character intention. 
but yeah. <laughs> oh, this looks crazy. <laughs> Natural hair over fake hair. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 21. I just turned 21. I don't look 21. <laughs> but it's like a really exciting thing though that I went to, where was it? I went somewhere and I bought a bottle of wine and it was just like, oh my god this looks crazy. Um, it was just one of those things where I was, I just felt like cool for people to come up to me and like look at my ID being like, that's fake, like she looks 12 and for me to be like, it's real. And then I watched them like count like the months <laughs> and like figure out if I'm getting them. And I do that genuinely say I'm like 16. But then there's like a little bit of nervousness too, because I'm like, oh God, like I'm giving you my real ID, but you're probably going to be like, this is fake and throw it away because I don't look 21. But that is yet to happen, which is good, I guess. Come on. Sweet says, I love you. I love you too. You've always thought that you were a salt in the twin when you auditioned? Um, yeah, so basically what happened for the audition was there were like fake sides and fake characters. Like their names were Beth Ann and Christine. Beth Ann was Josie and Christine was Lizzie. Um, and I didn't really know what it was at the time. But they said very specifically Beth Ann had to have brown hair and Christine had to have blonde hair. And so I knew that there was some correlation. Um, and so before I went in for my first call, I <laughs> rewatched um, some of the Vampire Diaries. And it was the episode that, I think it's the episode that Caroline finds out that she's pregnant with the twins. Maybe it was after they were already born. I think it was after they were already born. And the like little versions were in it. And so I saw the brunette and the blonde show up and I was like, Oh, well, holy shit, I'm auditioning for twins. <laughs> um, so I, I initially auditioned for Josie. And um, I got a call back for Josie. And then we had to do all of these chemistry reads with like a bunch of girls um, to like mix and match like what twins they liked. Um, and it was like a four to five hour process of reading with a bunch of other people. Um, and at the very end, they were like, hey, Kaylee, um, could you just read for Christine? And I was like, oh no, like they don't like me as Josie, they don't like me as Josie, and now they're trying to like figure it out. And I was like so upset, like so heartbroken, because I loved Josie's character. Like, and I love the sides too. Like they're fake, but it was like her being like, you're a strong, independent woman, and like you don't need this. <laughs> and so then, and mind you, Jenny was not there throughout this five hour process of trying to see the twins together um, and so I got another callback and I was expecting to see like the same group of people that I saw at that callback and then I show up and this like tall beautiful brunette is sitting there and I'm like shoot like they really want me to be Lizzie or they're like trying to figure out a Josie I was like so insecure I was like oh god and so they had us both read for both characters. We both auditioned for both roles. And I thought for sure that I was just like, so like not gonna get it. I was like, yeah, no, this tall, beautiful girl is definitely gonna play Josie. And I am just not right for Lizzie, so it's just not gonna work out. Um, and then I realized that she was an amazing Lizzie. <laughs> and we never read together. That's what's so funny is that they spent like all of this time having me read with all of these girls to like see chemistry. And Jenny and I never read together. We had no idea what the other was doing or what. Um, we didn't act together until whatever the first scene was for um, episode one. Um, and so it's actually just really funny how that kind of thing works out. 
but yeah, so we, <laughs> what's funny about it too is for the testing, so they, you test is what they call it, is basically they, they put you on camera and they send it to the network to get approval. Um, and since we were both auditioning for both roles, I had to, I came in dressed like Josie and I actually came in holding like a wardrobe bag to get dressed up as Lizzie for my other audition and I like redid my makeup and everything. And so it took forever. And so Jenny and I actually sat together for a little bit and um, we just talked about, I think like the first thing we talked about was fragrances and how I'm allergic to them. And she was like, oh no, like you can do natural oils. And I was like, oh, this girl's really cool. Um, and so we bonded over natural oils and now we're sisters. Funny how the world works. My hair is getting puffier. See, this is why I don't straighten my hair because it just looks like I don't know. I don't know. Mm, hello. Oh wait, somebody said please say hi to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> oh, but they did have us. <laughs> so funny. Um, they did have us. We couldn't, we didn't read together, which I still find so weird, but they did have us go into the room. I hope that this video comes out and it's literally, we had to stand next to each other as they held, like they recorded the camera watch us being like, and like, Julie was like, oh, we just want to make sure that you guys like look like you could be related. And we were like, oh, okay. Which is funny because I feel like we looked very related then because we both were brunette at the time. <laughs> but yeah, and then I met, we got the job and they didn't tell us which character we were playing. Um, it literally said like, you booked Beth Ann slash Christine, which were like the fake names. Um, and so Jenny and I met up at a coffee shop. We like didn't know each other at all. And we were just like, this is so exciting. And then at the very end, we were like, I wonder who's going to go blonde. And we both, like, totally were hoping that the other person had to go blonde. <laughs> like, just because, like, it's so hard um, to stay blonde. Um, and so it was, like, a funny thing. And then suddenly she texted me. She was like, um, I just got my salon appointment. I guess I'm going blonde. And we were like, oh, shit. And so we hung out a couple times before she went blonde. And then I saw her and I was like, whoa. She looks so different as a blonde. She looks gorgeous as a blonde and a brunette because she's stunning. We call her the high fashion one. She makes everything high fashion. But my hair, I actually went blonde a couple years ago. And <laughs> my hair doesn't take bleach well. So it turns orange. And so when they said that there was a possibility, I was like, oh God, please. For the love of God, do not make me go blonde because we're going to have an orange character on the show. Like, she's going to be orange. Do the twins remember Stefan? I would think so. I mean, he was a huge part of their life before he passed. It's so sad he's dead. Like, it's such a weird thought because we just worked with Paul. So I'm like, oh yeah, Stefan, like, we know him. I'm like, oh, shit, he died. That's sad. We were crying during the finale. It was just so sad. <laughs> Does anybody get, like, sweaty when they're doing their hair? Like, I feel like this is a workout. <laughs> How can we never mention Caroline ever? I think we have mentioned her a lot, and we're going to mention her a lot this coming episode. A lot this coming episode. My arms are tired. <laughs> Guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. I was gonna be 
used to do my hair before I went to school every morning. Like, how did I do that? This is tiring. Like, there came a point where I gave up. And so, for when I was in college, I had those 8 a.m. classes. And I literally went to school in my pajamas and threw my hair up in a messy bun. Like, did not care at all. But it's because this just takes so long. Like, you feel nice afterwards because you're like, oh, yeah. Like, but right now, it sucks. It just takes so long. <laughs> um, and it's also funny, too, because when I looked my worst, <laughs> which was my 8 a.m. classes, it was my language classes. And so you had to do, like, group work and actually talk to people. And I just looked dead. I felt dead. The usual. I made a lot of friends out of my language classes, though. If anybody needs to make friends in college, I highly recommend taking a language class just because you're kind of forced to talk to people. <laughs> and so it's fun. Hello. What grade are you guys in? I feel like a lot of you guys are in high school, right? Am I right when I say that? Ow, oh, that's hot. So he says kawaii. Oh, yeah. <laughs> High school, okay. Yes, we says yep, high school. Grade 11, so that's high school. Right? Let's see. Seventh grade. Ow! I just wanna be done. <laughs> oh gosh. Middle school for me. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I, don't know. I also have a cowlick in my hair that will not die. Like right, right here, my hair goes like whoop, and it is just. It is the. It has the strongest will I have ever come across in my life. How do you tame a cowlick? I feel like there's got to be someone, like somebody, oh, it's so hot. Somebody's got to have tamed a cowlick at some point. What a weird name for something, cowlick. It's got very hot. So he says the same thing with my hair, it's a struggle. <laughs> so he says, me too. At least I'm not alone in my weird cowlick. Life. Junior high? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not used to seeing my hair straight. This is so weird. And especially because with the show, my hair is always like that really tight curl. And so my hair is either dirty or it's in that tight curl. So like I barely even see my hair in its natural state now too. <laughs> it was just the door stopper. Am I done? Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! I'm sweating. I'm freaking sweating. Wow, okay, we made it. How, what do we think? I feel just like flat, but oh well. Okay, wait, let's take you to the couch. I'll just walk with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm not used to seeing my hair like this. Okay, I'll set you guys down.
We said the struggle is real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my coffee while I talk to you guys now. Because now I can actually talk to you guys <laughs> without straightening my hair. I can actually focus. But wait, you guys never answered my question. Are you guys in midterms right now? Because if so, like so many people have like um, DM'd me and um, like they'll comment on my lives being like, oh, I got an 85% on this or like this. And like I actually get personally invested when you guys are like, I have um, a test today or this today because I want to know how you guys did. Do I think Penelope still loves Josie? I don't know. I feel like it's hard to figure out with them because they are broken up. And so it's just a matter of, because Penelope broke up with Josie. That being said, she is looking out for Josie in her own roundabout way, but I don't know how to answer that. That's a Lulu question. <laughs> I don't know. Is that my natural hair color? Yeah, this is my natural hair color. I got, I dyed my hair blonde like three or four years ago and it finally, like I finally was able to cut it all out before we shot. So this is my natural hair, very dead and straw-like now. But How will MG react to Lizzie and Ralph? How will, oh. <gasps> Oh, MG and freaking Lizzie, episode six. Oh my God, Quincy just freaking, he's like, you want to talk about like somebody that's like the small bean of the cast, like freaking Quincy Faust. Like I like fall in love with MG, episode six. I just overshot my mouth with coffee and like almost had a moment. <laughs> I look so soft today. What does it mean? <laughs> I saw so many things from like when the very first episode came out being like, Josie Saltzman is the soft twin. I set a girl on fire. <laughs> does Hope have a date to their party? <laughs> you have to watch the show to find out. Do I ship Hope and Josie? I ship Hope, no, I'm Josie. I ship Josie <laughs> with somebody that's, I don't know. Like, it's just so complicated because everybody is so freaking complicated on the show. Like, nobody is like an easy choice for Josie. You know what I mean? Because like, Penelope broke her heart. She's mean to her sister. Roth is doing his own thing. Like, Roth is new to the school and is just trying to figure himself out. And Hope has her thing with Landon, and Hope and Josie weren't exactly, like, bros up until, you know, like, episode three. And, like, Hope has her own thing going on, too. So, I don't know. Josie, Josie just needs to figure her, Josie needs to figure herself out, too. Like, Josie needs to fix herself before she can commit to somebody. Somebody said, I love your hair. Thank you. I'm feeling very self-conscious of it. <laughs> so many people are commenting, and I think that's, is that Farsi? It's a really beautiful writing system, whatever it is, but it's, I don't, I can't read it. I think it's Farsi. Is it Farsi? Um, I think you guys are going to be really happy with episode 110 because we actually drop a lot of like, how would I say this without getting fired? We talk a lot about past characters, if that makes any sense, and like where they are now. Um, so I'm excited to see your guys' reaction to that. I love you too, Kay. I'm sorry. It goes so fast, and then by the time I've like actually figured out how to pronounce it, it's gone, and then I'm just like, well. Um, 
<laughs> I'm also really excited for you guys to see episode nine. No, it's not nine anymore. Episode 11. Um, just because, <laughs> um, how do I say? Chris Lee, who plays Caleb, has a really, really, really cool moment, episode 11. And I think you guys are going to fall in love with him. And I'm excited for that. How did I get my role on American Horror Story? I was... I was 12 then? I was really... Maybe I was 13. I was really young and I had been auditioning for television for a couple, well I mean I started auditioning for modeling and like commercials when I was eight and then I got my manager when I was like 12 and started auditioning for television and film and so I booked my very first TV role um, on the Disney Channel and then two weeks later I booked American Horror Story and it was like a dream come true. Um, that, I almost said that being said. <laughs> uh, what's funny about American Horror Story, I was talking to Mike Mosier about it. Mike Mosier does my makeup on the show. He worked on American Horror Story on the same episode that I was working American Horror Story. So we worked in the same trailer at the same time. And I just think that that's funny. Oh no, so many people, ah, dog with a blog. Oh God. I did so much Disney growing up that I just feel like it's never gonna leave me, like it will always haunt me. I was like so obnoxious and so big and I thought I was so funny and it's just so embarrassing. <laughs> but hey, whatever. <laughs> I'm here now. <laughs> My favorite thing about Josie? Hmm, my favorite thing about Josie, I always say it, I, always, I really do think that my favorite thing about Josie is her kindness. I feel like a lot of the characters on this show are really selfish, and I think that Josie can be selfish sometimes, but I think she needs to be selfish sometimes, um, just because she really does want to look out for other people. Hmm... Do the twins know about the merge? Watch episode six, this week on Legacies. <laughs> Ooh, somebody said sort the characters in their Hogwarts houses. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so, I would think that Josie Saltzman would be um, Hufflepuff. That just makes sense to me. Or she'd be like a Slitherpuff. No, she wouldn't have, she doesn't have any Slytherin in her. She might have some Slytherin in her. Slytherpuff? Hufflepuff. She's Hufflepuff. Um, Lizzie. Lizzie Slytherin. Um, Alaric would be Gryffindor, right? Gryffindor. Maybe Ravenclaw. Hope Gryffindor. Mm, maybe Slytherin. Maybe Slytherin. Um, Landon, Ravenclaw, Roth, what would Roth be? Wait, you guys comment, what do you think Roth would be? Gryffindor, maybe. He seems like a Gryffindor. MG, MG's Hufflepuff. <laughs> I feel like Josie and MG would just be like in Hufflepuff, but it just fits. Favorite scene with Alaric is in... I actually really do love that scene. Hiccup. Um, <laughs> episode... Episode 4. Where... Because Josie does not have scenes with Alaric. It's so funny because the way that she... The way that she makes Alaric happy is by not... Like, making him upset. In which case that means kind of avoiding him. <laughs> Um, and so I really don't have a lot of scenes with Matt. That's why one of my favorite scenes to ever shoot with him was episode four, where I finally kind of assert myself with him, being like, you know, you just can't protect us from everything. I really love that scene. 
I also really, we have a really cool scene um, at the end of the episode of episode six with Jenny, Matt, and Jody, who plays Joe. So look forward to that. So many people are asking me such spoilery questions for episode six, and I cannot. I cannot. I have already given away so much for episode six. <laughs> High school tips? High school is tough just because everybody's just trying to figure themselves out and when you don't know yourself is when you're at your most insecure. And like whose idea was it just to stick you at your most insecure around a bunch of other insecure people? You know what I mean? Like high school is just so rude. <laughs> um, so I think high school tips for high school is just and it sounds so cliche but just understanding that high school will end soon it's four years of your life that you'll look back on someday and it's not the end of the world if it's not if you're not happy right now just know that there is more to life than high school high school has a way of creating making that your world you wake up and you go to school and then you go home you work on your homework for school and then you go to sleep and you restart so the only people you know are in that school and so that makes it your world and so that's why when high school doesn't agree with you that it can feel like your entire world is falling apart and so i think a big tip is just looking at the light at the end of the tunnel if high school doesn't agree with you. So he says, dead ass, we need Josie and Landon seats. <laughs> I know. I had, like, Aria and I talk about it all the time, how funny it is that they don't put us in scenes together because it would literally just be, like, too much. <laughs> They're both just so similar in so many ways that it would just, like, we become friends and it would be unstoppable. We'd be an unstoppable force. <laughs> we actually have a moment. We like say like one word to each other, episode 11, I think it is, and it is so funny. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited for you guys to see that. I should probably I'll answer one more question, and then I'm going to go eat breakfast at 1 p.m. Killing it. Doing great on this Sunday. <laughs> Aria Shagasemi is in the house. No, Aria, it's not episode 9 anymore because we have 8A, 8B, so that's... It's episode 11 now. Episode... Wait. Yeah, episode 11 is when we speak to each other. Is this my first acting job? No. Um, I was um, Lady in Waiting number three in um, my childhood musical. Thank you very much. <laughs> Favorite song in Quincy's album is um, I Know. I really love I Know. I also love All at Once. I love a lot of that. I listen to it all the time. Okay, one more question and then I'll go eat because food is good for you. Now people are just saying hello. <laughs> Somebody says all at once is a bop. It is. Hola. Guys, I need to end it. <laughs> um, okay, wait. Let's just scroll through and see if there's anything that I can find to, to answer. Well, okay, that's a good question. Why don't I do an Instagram live every day? Um, because I feel like you guys would get tired of me very quickly. And also, I feel like doing Instagram lives all the time make me too self-aware. You know, like too self-conscious. Because I didn't know that I said things, I say the word like all the time, and it kills me. 
I say the words that being said all the time and I would have never noticed those things had I not started doing lives and so I feel like like it's okay to be aware of those things but I think that I need to be less self-conscious sometimes um, and so I don't think it'd be healthy for my mental state if I did a live every day just because I think that it's really easy personally for me to like nitpick myself apart and I think that anybody can relate to that and so if I'm constantly on social media and constantly like like I can look at your guys's comments but when I'm doing a live like I just see myself um, and so I just feel like it just creates this like weird self-consciousness that um, I just don't think is healthy for anybody to do um, so I think I do like a healthy amount of lives maybe a little bit too much sometimes but yeah so I don't think I'll do them all the time um, but yeah <laughs> I hope you guys are happy with the amount that I'm doing now um, but yeah okay I'm gonna go eat breakfast now but thank you for tuning in and sending in questions um, and watch this week's episode because it's my favorite um, I'll go depending on if I'm freaking traveling or not I really don't know I'm probably gonna go live on Thursday to answer your guys' questions and like hype up episode 6 and I'll be live tweeting so I'll talk to you guys later bye and oh no and <laughs>